this video, we're going to talk about tool selection for milling applications inside FeatureCam. And on the screen here, I have a simple curve I created. And in the two radiuses on the left end here are quarter inch radiuses. Then I have a half inch radius, or actually a three eighths, half inch, and a three quarter radius. So what FeatureCam does in this example with my pocket, it looks for all internal radiuses, looks for the smallest internal radius, which in this case is the quarter inch, and then it determines the tool size from that. Well, we know that we could cut this part correctly with a half inch end mill, but because the tool has to come to a stop and change directions in these corners, it's going to chatter and most likely put a, a nick in your part. So we'd rather have a smaller tool come in here and contour even the smallest radiuses. So that's what feature cam is going to do for us automatically. So let's go ahead and program this part real quick as a pocket. And I'm just going to select it, new feature, pocket, finish. And if we go quickly look at the tool, you can see here that it's using a 7 16 end mill. So what it did, and let's go ahead and show you the default. So if we go to our machining attributes and on the tool selection, option under the mill, there's tool percent of arc radius. And this is the default out of the box. If this was set at 100%, it would have grabbed a one half inch in mill. So just for fun, let's change it to 75%. Okay. If we quickly come over and look at the finish, notice that it changed to a three eighths in mill. So 75% of 250 is 187.5. So it grabbed the biggest tool that could cut that, which is a 3 8 end mill. So that's, uh, you can control that as your, as your default. This 98%, you can change it to whatever number you like. 98 seems to be a good number because it grabs the biggest tool possible in the crib that can still contour the smallest radius. So that's a really, really nice feature. 